Aloha and welcome to Moonscopes Astrology. On today's show we'll talk about the astrology starting from the Taurus full moon on November 17th to the Sagittarius new moon on December 2nd. I'll also give you a general forecast for your astrology sign at the end of today's show. If you have an any personal planets or points, especially your sun, moon, ascendant, or midheaven conjunct or within one to two degree or above an exact aspect to a planet or planetoid, then you will have a more personal experience of the celestial event. I'm your host, Intuitive Astrologer, KG Styles. Moonscopes Astrology is sponsored by Pure Plan Essentials, Organic Aromatherapy, and Health Mastery Systems, the place to go for your transformational healthcare needs, including astrology sessions with me. You can order private readings with me, a link's up here below. Thanks for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my videos and leaving your comments. I love hearing how things are going for you. Questions are welcome if they are of a general nature and can be helpful to everyone. The 25 degree Taurus full moon on November 17th has conjunct the fixed star of Algol and much wealth may accrue under this fixed star. The planets associated with Algol are Jupiter and Saturn. The 25 degree Taurus full moon forms a six-pointed star in the sky called a Star of David made up of intersecting feminine earth and water elements and represents the union of, union of heaven and earth. Something extraordinary comes to completion in the area of your life where the Taurus full moon is occurring that affects all the other areas of your life where earth and water planets are located. For in-depth astrology about the 25 degree Taurus full moon on November 17th, I posted a link to my Taurus full moon YouTube below along with a link for a Taurus full moon meditation. On November 19th, Mars at 20 degrees Virgo sextiles Jupiter at 20 degrees Cancer. An opportunity is available for taking action and fulfilling some desire you have related to your home, family, self-nurturance, and your early childhood. The Taurus full moon energies will be amplified by Chiron on station direct on November 20th. A sense of relief as good fortune, sudden gains, and supportive friends and associates is forthcoming now. On November 20th, Chiron station direct, finally after being retrograde in Pisces for five months since June of this year. On this same day, November 20th, Mercury at 9 degrees Scorpio, sextiles Pluto at 9 degrees Capricorn, further empowering and stabilizing the transformation you're going through in your subconscious and conscious minds. Old patterns are reconciled and healed within you, especially if you have personal planet or points within that 1 to 2 degree conjunction of a 9 degree Scorpio or Capricorn. Your connections and communications within yourself and with others is set to improve tremendously now. On November 21st, the very next day, the sun enters Sagittarius and life begins to lighten up for everyone. The heaviness of the stellium of planets dancing with the North Node and Scorpio that started back in September begins to dissipate. You feel freed up in your emotional life. Your energies lighten up considerably. Now you will start to reap the rewards of your hard work and the changes you've made since last June. On November 23rd, Venus at 16 degrees Capricorn sextiles Saturn at 16 degrees Scorpio. This, this represents an opportunity for something you love or a personal love interest or pleasure of yours to come into form. Venus, Venus's link to Saturn gives stability, so what comes into form now is lasting and can endure through time. This window of opportunity lasts for a period of time as Mercury is about to conjunct Saturn in two days time on November 25th, bringing a stellar opportunity and good fortune for a bright idea or intention to come into form, especially for those of you within that two degree orb of 16 degree Capricorn or 16 degree Scorpio. On November 24th, uh, Sun at 2 degrees Sagittarius squares Neptune at 2 degrees Pisces and can rep represent mixed signals. You may feel emotionally confused and you are challenged to open your mind to a different perspective than your own. Allow your will forces to open and be flexible to see what happens before jumping to conclusions. On November 27th, Mercury at 19 degrees Scorpio sextiles Venus at 19 degrees Capricorn and trines Jupiter and Lilith at 19 degrees Cancer. The very next day on November 28th, Venus at 19 degrees Capricorn opposes Jupiter and Lilith at 19 degrees 
Cancer. This cosmic dance of forces between Mercury, Venus, Jupiter, and Lilith are both illuminating and bring opportunities for you and the areas of your life where these planets are located. Key elements active now are transformation of your circumstances and healing and union of your lower and higher minds. Previously hidden details of your life can be integrated now. There is an opportunity for revelation, reconciliation of opposing forces within you. The time period starting after the Scorpio full moon can be a long awaited period of advancement for you in your life. On November 30th, Sun at 9 degrees Sagittarius is trying to Uranus at 9 degrees Aries. You feel energized by this contact. Uranus is retrograde, so something could be revealed and released that previously held you back. On December 2nd, we have the Sagittarius New Moon at 10 degrees, conjunct the Sun and trine to Uranus and Aries. I'll be posting a video with details on the astrology of the Sagittarius New Moon very soon. Now for a general forecast for each astrology sign, starting with Sagittarius. Sagittarius, your lunar, lunar return on December 2nd is a green light from the universe for starting new projects. With your ruler Jupiter retrograde and Cancer, opportunities somehow connected to your past return. Angelic assistance is now available to you, so ask and it is given. Capricorn, the love of Venus is with you now and your life softens and you are inclined to spend time with those who love and cherish you. Life gets sweeter. Aquarius, the Sun, and Mercury station in Sagittarius lightens up your mood. Your communications and inner self-talk are more open and expansive. You enjoy a respite from all the recent heaviness. You've been facing shadows within yourself recently, and now you'll feel more, more light and light-hearted. Pisces, your experience forward, you experience forward movement. Clarity is now forthcoming. Your emotional fluctuations are less intense. Your life begins to make sense as things fall more easily into place. Continue to go with the flow, deepen your faith, and trust in the unseen hand of your angels and guides. Aries, you enjoy the sun and Mercury's transit through Sagittarius. Your feeling of resistance to change eases a bit. Your usual sense of being in charge of your destiny resurfaces. Taurus, you are feeling pleasure and enjoyment for your life circumstances as you experience a sense of completion now. It's easier than usual to let go of what's not working for you. Gemini, you are being shown the way forward as you receive illumination about how you're getting in your own way. It's time to lighten up and leave the past behind. Cancer, you are enjoying the comforts of your home and family now. Something from your past may return that brings an opportunity for feeling more deeply rooted within yourself. Your emotional life smooths and smooths out. Leo, your life brightens with the Sun and Mercury's transit through Sagittarius, your sister fire sign. It's been a long, intense period of reckoning and facing the shadows within yourself that have sabotaged your best efforts, efforts in the past. You've been gaining a deeper understanding about yourself and how you've created your life circumstances. You may now finally have a sense of light at the end of the tunnel. Keep going. Virgo, you're on fire with Mars transit through your sign, yet for a while more. You feel energized to take action and fulfill your desires related to your physical health and how you are seen by others. You feel confident, self-assured that you can accomplish your desires with consistent effort. Libra, you felt confronted by life circumstances to make significant changes. The Sun and Mercury transit through Sagittarius amps up your desire for change, though you feel a bit more optimistic about the outcomes being in your favor and thus less resistant to making the necessary changes, especially in your relationships. Scorpio, you've made it through a long period of restructuring your very existence at a core level. Now, as the stellium of planets conjunct the North Node, move, for, uh, move apart, and Neptune and Chiron move direct, you feel an ease returning to your life. The heaviness and seriousness you've been feeling begins to lighten. You've unearthed much and feel freed up emotionally. You've, you're feeling much more uh, embodied and connected to yourself as you move forward with renewed confidence at that things start and things start to work out for you. Okay, well, that's it for this show. Please leave your comments. Let me know how things are going for you. Thanks so much for joining me. Until next time, relax and enjoy your life. I'm your host, Intuitive Astrologer, KG Styles.